I set out to synchronize Code 3 DTEC rotators. The dual-sided, two-color red-blue rotators were an interesting idea, but often looked like a purple blur. So I made essentially what I consider to be kind of a gear-driven aerodynamic uh, style setup out of some extra rotator bases. And the first thing I did was just synchronize the two rotators to flash the same color at the same time. I think this improved them significantly. Um, it certainly makes them less of a purple blur. And I was relatively happy with the speed that I had set the motors to. This might be a little bit faster than I would ultimately like. From a distance, you still kind of get a purple blur effect, but I think that's just the way DTEC rotators are. It's certainly not nearly as bad as when they were rotating independently. The next thing I decided to try was a couple different flash sequences. So I switched them to alternate red-blue, um, essentially what you get is a color wigwag going back and forth. Um, one side will be red when the other is blue and vice versa. Um, this was surprisingly effective. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're spaced out uh, quite a distance here. So the purple blur effect was minimized. Um, I think just by the fact that they were spaced out almost eight to ten inches. The next thing I wanted to try was some other setups. So I wanted to offset one of them um, from the other and see if it would kind of like an aerodynamic do like a chase pattern almost. And I don't have enough DTEX to really do a full aerodynamic sequenced flash, which if anybody has any more DTEX, I would love to try that uh, with at least three, maybe four, and get kind of a aerodynamic style sequence going. But I wasn't totally disgusted by this. I, I thought it would be a lot worse, actually. So I, actually, I went and offset them at a slightly different spacing um, with the same sort of aerodynamic idea in mind. I think this actually worked a little bit better because it was more obviously a chasing scenario. But again, they're spaced out pretty far, so it was kind of hard to tell. Um, playing around with the different uh, spacing or sequencing still kind of gave the purple blur, but less so. And again, that may be the speed and the spacing. But overall, um, I do think that I like the uh, I like the same color at the same time or opposite colors. Um, this sort of chasing pattern, while eye catching, doesn't have great color definition necessarily. And again, I think the only reason it's not terrible is because the distance between the uh, two rotating heads. So I threw mirrors in, um, and that's where this started to kind of fall apart. The diamond mirror, essentially, this is two V mirrors back to back, um, just by the nature of these light heads, is always going to show the opposite color. So even with the rotators flashing the same color at the same time, you always have, uh, you always have a opposing mirror, essentially. And I felt that this brought the purple blur back. Um, there just wasn't there just wasn't enough definition and the mirror was actually detracting from the um, warning effectiveness at least in my op subjective opinion in person the spacing may have something to do with that but i think the mirrors just by the fact that these are double-sided and opposite colored um, the mirror was going to be a problem so I started sequencing the rotators again uh, with the mirrors, and I was actually a little bit surprised that doing opposite colors, um, one red, one blue, back front, um, 
actually looked a little bit better in my opinion. Um, I think you were already kind of getting that back and forth color effect just by the nature of the mirror. So embracing it um, by actually flipping the rotators, I think is actually more effective. And I think this shows from a distance that this was actually the better um, of the two setups when their mirrors were added back. So I started offsetting the rotators, um, much like I did without the mirrors to see what that would look like. And I was actually pleasantly surprised that it wasn't terrible. Um, it also, I think it actually kind of helped the chasing look a little bit, um, or the back and forth sort of idea, having the opposite side of each rotator hitting the mirror at the same time. Um, when offset like that is an interesting sort of combination and it's not a total purple blur um, it certainly is eye-catching and I can't decide if it uh, has enough color definition or not but it uh, it actually does better on the mirrors than the like colors facing forward did And you can index the rotators basically based on what's showing front and what's showing side. Um, so doing it kind of the opposite way just changes the, the dodge effect to the opposite direction, I guess, or the opposite effect. I don't think it's really that much different, but uh, since this is a relatively easy to change um, spacing, I figured I would play around with that while I had this set up. Um, the very high-tech uh, piece of lumber with the uh, rotator bases attached to it. I did leave one of the pins off the uh, gears so I could just re-index them. So then it dawned on me the problem was the rotation direction. If they rotated inward you wouldn't have that mirror problem. You would get essentially the opposite color every time. So I took one gear out and I was actually able to remove the second motor and it slowed it down a little bit, but it also made them spin inwards or opposite directions. And with the like colors showing to the front, that meant that the opposite color was always flashing in the mirror and I thought this was extremely effective. Uh, this was really what I was going for when I uh, started this project. In person um, it's even more attention getting. There's really no washout. The purple blur factor is almost none and the uh, color definition is is quite apparent in person. I actually let this run for quite a while because I was so happy with it and I started thinking that based on the number of gears I had I could theoretically do this with a few more rotators and they could all alternate directions with mirrors in between some and not others and it could stay a relatively clean look. I also think the slightly lowered speed helped but overall I think I'm happiest with this setup which is like colors forward rotating inward opposing directions I think that overall is the best setup, but that doesn't mean I stopped. From a distance, uh, this actually shows up a lot better in person. This was washing the camera out really badly from a distance for some reason. Um, but it's quite apparent the colors and the way, uh, the way the mirror kind of chases out the opposite color is actually very effective and there really isn't a purple blur in person. But again, since my setup was very easy to re-index, I thought, well, I might as well try the other setups 
now that they're rotating inward. And I was pleasantly surprised by the alternating colors as well. The slightly slower speed and the inward direction actually cleaned it up quite a bit. I let uh, all of the different options run for a significant amount of time. I haven't included all the footage, but there's a decent amount of footage here of just the different uh, possible indexings or index positions of these um, and what they look like. This uh, rig is by no means uh, done or perfect. I figured I would build this quickly and easily because I had no idea how it would look. Um, I think I may, be actual, may actually be able to get this set up into my 420 mini bar base and actually run them synchronously within the bar. Um, the only question will really be if I have to Dremel out some plastic for the um, extra rotator base um, rotator bases, but I think the spacing will be really close. Um, I might end up having to add a set of um, standoffs for the rotators. I don't know if they'll fit in their factory positions exactly, but it's not going to be too big, so theoretically it should work. Uh, from a distance, the alternating colors actually washed out less somehow. The footage isn't great. I'm not really happy with the way the distance footage came out. Uh, these particular optics tend to wash the camera out, but it certainly wasn't a purple blur. So once again, let's re-index these rotators and see what we get. This offset pattern actually feels like there's an oscillating multicolor light in the middle when you're in the room. Something about the asymmetrical nature actually adds something to it. And since there's a few different ways to offset these or index them, that means that there's actually quite a few viable setups, but I think they all depend upon rotating opposite directions and going slightly slower. Again, the distance didn't go great, but it wasn't a purple blur. I tried some other positions, and essentially, again, you just sort of reverse the in-out color pattern when you index them slightly differently. But I was happy to see none of them had completely turned into a washed-out blur. And I was starting to wonder if maybe this wasn't a complete waste and other mirrors could be added as long as the directions continued to reverse. The synchronization um, is also a must. Um, doing anything like this with independent rotators, um, I have a couple past videos just proved to be a complete purple blur even at slightly slower speeds and the faster they go the worse it gets. Turning one of the rotators uh, just a, a slight amount instead of a whole quarter turn um, made a bigger difference than you would think but it, it I don't think it's quite as effective as a full part a full uh, quarter turn indexing but again it's an easy setup to play with
I couldn't tell if this was actually, actually more effective than the other position or if it was just lighting or just the way the camera picked it up, but it seemed like this was doing a little bit more eye-catching chase or back and forth pattern. But overall, I still think the um, 90 degree flip red blue works the best. So because I would like to put this in a light bar, I grabbed my dash laser five flash mirror and put it around one of the rotators to simulate um, other mirrors inside a light bar. And I'm not really I'm not really sure it was a great simulation of that, but it kind of shows you what you would get if you had other mirrors like a stepper mirror um, or another diagonal mirror. Um, the fact that it's synchronized and the fact that it's slower I think saves this, but you really start to get close to the purple blur. And just by the nature of these rotators being that the opposite direction is always the opposite color, it kind of limits you as far as what you can do with what angle you can place a mirror. And going behind the rotator um, kind of felt like there was no way to do it where it didn't end up um, washing the colors out. But since I had the five flash mirror out, I did play around with some of the other sequencings that I had previously done uh, in the other setups just to see how that would look with extra mirrors. Like I said, I thought this would kind of simulate maybe a stepper mirror in a light bar. The other sequencings almost started to go back to the way these rotators look when they're not synchronized. There's just too much going on. I think the key to using these is less is more. I think the single diamond mirror in the center can work, but as soon as you start putting any sort of mirror more than, more than halfway back or behind the rotators at all, it really starts to break down in my opinion. So if I do make a larger light bar with these, I'm going to have to be careful about not placing too many mirrors or other items just because it, it just gets busy really, really fast. I think there's a certain point where no matter how you index these, once you have extra mirrors involved, it's just too much. But again, I was playing around. I don't intend to leave the dash laser five flash mirror inside my 420 bar. I'm probably going to try to uh, mount these uh, one facing red, one facing blue opposite each other uh, when I mount them in the bar. But I may do the same color um, on each one because they reflect the opposite color in the diamond mirror. Those are, I think, my two uh, favorites, and I think they would work in the 420 bar. So synchronizing the rotators, slowing them down, and getting rid of extra distractions is probably the way to go. Thanks for watching this ongoing experiment. Check my channel for similar content. Have a great day.